Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace, back again with another comic book ads video. I'm going to begin right where I left off last time, makes sense. The Bionic Man from Dynamite, this is issue 15. Now with most issues in this series, Dynamite offered three variant covers. The main cover, the 1 in 10 cover, which obviously means 10% of the covers, and then what they call the retailer virgin art incentive cover which is just like the main cover except it doesn't say dynamite it doesn't have the issue number and it doesn't say the bonnet man it just has the artwork on the cover anyway this is the main cover now the copy for the main cover Okay, this is also issue 15. This is the 1 in 10 cover. Issue 17. Main cover. Issue 18. Main cover. Issue 19, main cover. Issue 20, 1 in 10 cover. Issue 23, main cover. Okay, going from the Bionic Man to the Bionic Woman. Also from Dynamite, this is issue 7. I don't know that this series had variant covers. They certainly didn't print them on the inside as Dynamite normally does. So that you can see what the alternate covers look like. Issue 8. And issue 9. Okay, now moving on to a title from Radio Comics. This has black and white interior art, but I can't show it to you because this is for mature readers, this title. Bunny Town, issue 1. Radio Comics is, by the way, based in San Antonio, Texas, in case you were curious. Even if you weren't, I told you. This is issue two. And that's all I have for this series. Now don't think that just because the only series I have shown you from Radio Comics were low numbers that they don't have long running series. They do. Some of their titles are way above 100 uh, issues. Okay. Charlton. I'm a big Charlton fan. Now, Charlton was in business from 1946 until 1985. The last logo imprint that they had is commonly referred to as the Bullseye logo or the Charlton Arrow logo. Well, a guy on Facebook got the idea of uh, doing kind of a tribute and suddenly he found himself uh, inundated with offers from original writers and artists that had worked for Charlton. They wanted to contribute stories of their own. And the whole thing blossoms from there. This is a print-on-demand title. You can download it as a digital download. I believe it's only $1.99. This print edition, it, you have to have printed. 
is 699. This is issue 1. Full color. And there's an ad on the back for Charlton Trading Cards, limited edition, series one. You have to look into that. There's a centerfold of sorts. Art gallery. I believe this is 64 pages of Charlton goodness. Like I said, original stories, original art, but the same writers and artists that work for Charlton back in the day. And they have everything in here. For example, they even have a romance story, and they have a mock cover. I guess that's a mock cover. That's the Carlton, excuse me, Charlton C logo. So that might be a reprint of an original cover. I don't know. It says 12 cents on, on the front. Anyway. This is the story that followed it. As it states, heroes, horror, humor, and more. If you're a Charlton fan, well worth the price. And I said Carlton by mistake once because for years that's how I mispronounced it. Okay, and issue two has come out. which you can get as a digital download or pay $6.99 to get a printed copy. This has, I believe, one reprinted story, but most of the stories are original. That's the reprinted story right there. Okay, this is from Dark Horse Books. It's a trade paperback. And it's pretty good, actually. City of Others. Okay. Time for another printed on demand title. This also has to do with Charlton. In the early 90s, I believe it was, there was a comic book publisher by the name of Ace Comics. And what they did was reprint uh, titles that had been published by others. I don't know how long they lasted, but I don't think it was long. Anyway, they've come back. And what are they reprinting? Charlton Comics. One of their longest running non-war themed titles was Hot Rods and Racing Car Comics. Notice it says atop the title, Classic. Well, that would make the full title Classic Hot Rods and Racing Car Comics. These aren't in color though. They used what they call on here the original silver plates but 60 something pages 64 it says right on the front 64 pages of fast chills and 
spills and thrills. Okay, go back in there. I'm not going to bother opening it up, but this is issue two. And there's the invoice they sent with it. <laughs> Let's put it on the back. Okay, from Dynamite, issue two, a cryptozoic man. Okay. This is uh, from Dynamite, issue two of Damsels, Mermaids. I didn't even bother to look yet. I haven't gotten around to reading yet. There are any alternate covers. Well, they don't print them, so I guess there aren't. And issue three. Okay, from IDW, back when they had the license. Doctor Who. Issue one. Issue two. Issue three, which is part one of the two parter. Obviously, this is from the Matt Smith era. Issue 3. Again. Issue 4. Issue six. Issue seven. Issue eight. Issue 9, Issue 10, Eleven. And I'll just arbitrarily stop after this one. Issue 12, and it says on C 
cover A. So there are obviously variant covers. Didn't notice whether the other cover said. Cover A. Cover A. Cover A. I think I have mostly cover A's there. All right. Until next time, stay awesome. Issue 19, main cover. Issue 20, 1 and 10 cover. Issue 23. Anyway, this is the main cover. Another copy for the main cover. Okay, this is also issue 15. This is the 1 and 10 cover. The 1 in 10 cover, which obviously means 10% of the covers. And then what they call the Retailer Virgin Art Incentive Cover, which is just like the main cover, except it doesn't say Dynamite. It doesn't have the issue number, and it doesn't say the Bonnet Man. It just has the artwork on the cover. Hello, YouTubers. This is Cessna Ace back again with another comic book ads video. I'm going to begin right where I left off last time. It says, The Bionic Man from Dynamite. This is issue 15. Now, with most issues in this series, Dynamite offered three variant covers. The main cover, issue 17. Main cover. Issue 18, main cover. And 